Coach East and for you guys. Barry, what's it like to coach these guys? Uh, tremendous group, tremendous, tremendous young men. They come out here every day to get better and uh, really, really enjoy to coach them. A follow up, what's the motivation coming back to Notre Dame? Well, it's easy. It's Notre Dame and what you just asked about the players. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, it's the best university I've ever been a part of. And uh, we have tremendous leadership from the top. Uh, Father Jenkins, Jack Swerberg, and Marcus Freeman uh, is a, a guy that's really a joy for all of us to work for. Again, just a final question for me on practice. What are you evaluating? What are you looking for right now to improve them for the season opening? Well, fundamental improvement every day is the most important thing. That we come to the field with a understanding of what we need to do to get better, and then we work as hard as we possibly can to improve on those fundamentals. And that's number one. Number two, we're always conscious of being able to execute. We have to execute the plays called versus different defenses. And that's a, that's a second challenge. And the third thing is our effort, making sure we're practicing hard, playing hard, working to finish blocks. What kind of went into the decision to move J-Pat to, to guard? Well, uh, just like Coach, I know Coach has probably said and talked to Tommy. It's, just, it's a matter of you find your best five guys. And that's what the team needed. And then I believe your last year here, the last time you kind of rotated Tommy Kramer and Robert Haynes at the right tackle. Is there a position on the line right now where there could be a potential rotation? I don't know. Not right now. You mentioned finding the best five guys. There's a, a bunch of you guys in the O-line who played in different positions over the past couple of years. Is uh, maintaining that versatility of folks of yours, or are you trying to lock guys into those five spots and make sure you have the strongest first five? Well, you'd like to establish a, a starting unit. At some point, there's a starting unit got established. And, through the spring practice and uh, our evaluation of spring, this, this, these are the, the, the five guys that we feel like give us our best opportunity to have success. And then everybody else is, is competing to play, learning how to play. Some play multiple positions, some play one. Some of them, that's a, something that they can, you know, they're confident doing. Other guys need to stay in the same spot so they can uh, have some improvement gradually. Um, other guys can handle position switches. So that's really an individual thing. We try to give guys opportunities where they can have success. Uh, and with O-line being such a strong, like, or with communication being such a strong aspect for O-line, like, who would you say have been some of the strongest communicators? So they have to all be. I mean, there isn't really one that's any different than the other. Uh, there, it, it's, it's something that we have to improve, and every guy's responsible for that. And last one for me, I noticed, uh, I believe it was the first day of camp, we had a couple of guys that weren't quite able to finish. How are you feeling about the condition? Well, I don't know why you didn't bring that up, but well, I guess that's your job. But I don't know, were you out here? Did you see how hot it was? Did you see how hard they were working? It's part of acclimating to playing football. And it's not running gassers and doing agility drills. Now they're playing football full speed, helmets on, 100 degree heat. So um, I have no problem with what those guys did because they poured their heart and soul into playing it, practicing as hard as they could. So we have no issues with that. We progress them through, we keep working hard, and they get used to dealing with the elements. Coach, what's been your assessment about, um, you know, when we saw the guys out there, it looked like things were getting pretty physical and everything was getting pretty good in the trenches. What's your, have you been pleased with how, uh, I guess, intense and aggressive things have been getting? Uh, it, the thing that I think they demonstrate at times the ability to do that and uh, what we have to improve is our consistency. But we're not playing with uh, good enough consistency, either fundamentally with our techniques or with our execution. So uh, there are plays that you, you kind of like, and there's still uh, too many plays we don't like. Thanks, Coach. Where have you seen growth from Rocker Spindler, and then obviously Billy didn't play in the spring. What have you kind of seen him through the first week of camp? Yeah, work in progress, uh, learning how to play, learn how to play college football for Billy. Um, Rocco's a, a perfect example we're just talking about. You'll see some tremendous things from him and then some inconsistencies. So working on building a consistency, play after play, um, is what his challenge is. But um, a, lot of, a lot of good there for him.
Thank you.